whole project wants to bring youth activities and youth services to the community of Teishan. Teishan is a commune, it's uh, somewhere in Romania, in rural Romania, in Prahova County, and what we're trying to bring here is youth services, space for young people to be able to come, spend their time, learn stuff, socialize and be themselves. Uh, we're going to have a media room here with people that are going to be able to come and play instruments, test uh, video uh, editing, test uh, filming, test uh, blogging and vlogging, test uh, audio recording and editing and processing and we're also going to have a rather large uh, activity training room. What the volunteers are doing here, they are helping the staff and basically helping the whole community to bring this space to life for all the volunteers that have been working with us. The work that we did this year and this summer was tremendous, was huge. And I would like to say a big thank you to everyone involved and uh, to the to, like to the people in this community that have supported us and have supported the volunteers uh, to get to this point in which in two days we are launching the youth center. This is one of the coolest projects that we have ever done and it's also one of the coolest projects that I have ever heard of. Hello! <laughs> yeah, like that. She's very annoying here. Yeah, she is. So, we had two rounds of volunteers for this project, uh, starting in, in July. Uh, and then where you start, we started to renovate here. And uh, there was different tasks to do. Uh, it was cleaning, renovating, scratching, cleaning, scratching again uh, and it was pretty hard for the volunteers to, uh, to continue their, their work like as it was very hard to work and it was most likely the first time for them to do that but uh, everybody was really willing to do and their motivation to see the youth center happening and their good vibes I would say Mm, it's a very cool experience for me because uh, I learn a lot, so uh, it's very cool. I love this project, I love um, the people, I love uh, Romanian and um, it's very cool. <laughs> This is the last day and my face uh, really tired. This is the face of the project. <laughs> I learned basically to scratch walls, <laughs> to put tiles, I put a lot of tiles, um, plastic walls, um, but also I learned like, to be more tolerant with the people of different countries, different cultures, also to live together in this house, a lot of people. Um, you need to be patient sometimes. I am very happy to be here because I have learned a lot of things, like uh, live in a society. For me, what miss me the most is all the, per all the people in the hostel and in the association Corba de Cultura. I found like a lot of good things, like friends, a lot of good people. 
a very beautiful country. Well, I already know that it was a beautiful country, but more. I know it more now. And a lot of uh, knowledge that I wanted to have it at some point, but I didn't knew that it was going to be here. So it's cool. Yeah, it was generally an interesting experience. Like I had a lot of stuff to learn also about living by myself and with other people that are my family. So, yeah. When I came here, I could bear, barely speak English. I mean, my speaking was quite bad. It's still bad, but it's better now. I was, we can say, sedentary um, now, inactive, and now I, um, I, I can't, I can't stop of doing things. Every time I'm, let's say that I'm more independent, and and then there is the people. The people here has been amazing with me. Oh, it's been fun. It's been a roller coaster. It's been up, down, up. Real tiring, but fun. Good people, good friends, parties, <laughs> having fun, crazy adventures. Uh, maybe the food. I had really good cooking here. Don't tell it to Julia. <laughs> it's, it's really cool to be around some people, have fun with them, discuss with them, and yeah, just do things around them. Like in terms of uh, coordination, it was not always easy because everybody is different in terms of skills. And uh, uh, but everybody found new skills basically. Like it was pretty uh, obvious that some of them needed a bit more time to get used to tools or to get used to the place. But finally, everybody is pretty comfortable with everything. And so now I think everybody is ready to renovate their own house. <laughs> in the future. I'm proud of the volunteers and of their work because I really know that it was not easy to, to do as work because it's physical work and they still kept doing. <laughs> I'm proud of their work uh, and of their motivation because even if they are tired, like physically, they still are doing it because they know that the project at the end will be awesome. And when they realize the work that they did from the beginning to now, where inside it was absolutely nothing, just walls scratched, like walls, walls. And now that we have, we can put the paint, white paint, and that you enter in the room and it's a real room. Uh, they realize their work and I'm really proud of the volunteers, like all of them of the work. And everybody did different stuff, for real. I don't know. Um, I really hope that the volunteers, actually the young people from here would come to this center uh, because it's a place, let's say it's a place to be in the, in the, in the commune now. We are waiting for, for young people to come and join the team and to make, it, to make this place the best that can be, like as decoration, as activity, and to, to help them to, to meet young people, other young people, to meet international people, to meet uh, their personal and professional development, maybe. They will discover a job that they would like to do, maybe, here. Uh, but in general, I'm really happy to, that we did this project uh, because it was really uh, successful and I can't wait to see young people here coming. And thank you for watching. <laughs>